Hi everyone, how's it going? Ben here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick tutorial on how to make an easy logo in Photoshop. Now, Photoshop is quite an advanced program for photo editing, so if you guys have any questions along the way, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. So anyways guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So once you open up Photoshop, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to File, New, and create a canvas size. For the video, we are going to make it 512 by 512, and I'm going to rename it to Logo. The next thing you're going to want to do is double click on your layer in the right side of your screen and rename it to Background. We are then going to add a background color. Before we do this, we're going to select two colors to make a gradient into. For the video, I'm going to select a light blue as well as a darker blue. If you'd like to change these colors, you can do so yourself. Once we've chosen our colors, we are going to select the gradient tool, or you can select G on the keyboard. Now if you see a paint bucket tool instead, you are just going to click and hold on this icon and select the gradient icon. Next you are going to click in that rectangular box on the top of the screen and make sure the first preset is selected. Once we have done that, we are just going to close out of the window and I'm going to bring my gradient tool and click in the middle of the screen and drag outwards. Once you have completed this, you should have a nice looking gradient background. After this, we are going to add some rulers to our document. We're going to add a total of six. To do so, just click and drag from the rulers on the top or left hand side of the screen down onto your canvas. Your final product should look like this. Now, if for some reason you don't see rulers on your screen, just go to view and select rulers. Once we've added the rulers, we are going to go to our pen tool by selecting P on the keyboard. You also want to make sure that our setting for the pen tool is set on shape. We're going to start off by clicking on our top left hand side of the canvas. We then want to click and hold on the top right hand side of the canvas and hold the shift key and drag diagonally upwards to the right. We are going to drag until our rounded line is perpendicular with our center ruler. Now once your two lines are perpendicular to each other, we are just going to let go. We then want to hold down the Alt key and select on the node where we first clicked. Next, we are going to click in the middle right side of the canvas, following by the middle left side of the canvas, and finishing it off by clicking again on the top left hand corner. We are then going to change the shape to white. Once our shape looks like this, we are going to duplicate it by hitting Command J on the keyboard. Now with your duplicated shape, you are going to hit Command T on the keyboard. We are then going to go up to where it says H, and we're going to change the number to having a negative sign in front of it. This is going to flip the image horizontally. We just want to double click the enter button and our shape will be complete. Next we want to move our shape around so it aligns with our other shape. Once your two shapes look like this, we are then going to merge the two layers together. To do this, hold command or shift and click on the two layers. We then want to right click and select a merge shape or merge layers. Once this is done, we are going to duplicate the shape another time. To do this, once again, hit command J on your keyboard. We are then going to change the color of this new shape to black. To do this, just double click on the layer, select color overlay, and then change the color to black. We are then going to transform the shape by selecting Command T on the keyboard, and we are going to click the top of the shape and drag it downwards to decrease the size. Once we like the size of our shape, we can select Enter and be using the Move tool, move it to an appropriate place on the screen. I'm then going to bring down the opacity to about 80%. After you have done this, we're going to double click on the layer of the first shape you made. We are then going to add a drop shadow and bring the distance and spread down to zero and bring the size up to 16 pixels. Once you have done that, we're just going to select OK. Now finally, we are just going to add some text. To do this, select T on the keyboard and click anywhere to add text on the screen. Type in your preferred message. We are then just going to make sure our color is white and we can then change the size of our text as well as move it around the screen to wherever we'd like. Now if you want to get a bit more fancy, you can create another text field and make the text black and then go to Type and Wrap Text. You then want to change the style to Arc and readjust the bend to an appropriate value. Well guys, that pretty much wraps up the tutorial on how to create this nice simple logo. If you guys enjoyed, please let me know in the comment section below, as well as like this video. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next one.